Tears form an important film over the ocular surface. Tear osmolarity is the concentration of solutes in the tear film. Tear osmolarity increases due to a decrease in aqueous production and or the decrease in lipid production resulting in increased evaporation. As tears become concentrated or progressively hyperosmolar, damage begins to occur on the ocular surface, including the cornea. Left undiagnosed and untreated, hyperosmolar tears become increasingly toxic to the corneal epithelium, leading to the loss of glycocalyx and microvilli. The glycocalyx has charged ions that grab and hold onto water, and the microvilli help retain the water on the corneal surface. The two work together to ensure the cornea is properly lubricated. The loss of glycocalyx and microvilli results in tear film instability and dry spots on the cornea. Hyperosmolarity also leads to desiccation and desquamation of surface epithelium, loss of goblet cells, as well as inflammation and cell death by apoptosis. As surface cells die off, the underlying immature cells, including nerve fibers, are exposed to toxic hyperosmolar tears which perpetuates ocular surface damage, thus creating a vicious cycle that continues until hyperosmolarity is identified and managed. The quality of the tear film is essential to light reaching the retina without deviation or reflection, resulting in clear, stable vision. An unstable tear film results in dynamic changes in optical aberrations that deteriorates image quality formed on the retina. This can have a significant impact on a patient's quality of life, in addition to eye strain and discomfort associated with dry eye. As a result, osmolarity is an important biomarker to measure, so the ocular surface can be managed accordingly. Whether you are preparing the ocular surface for surgery, prescribing glasses or contacts, 